Buzz Buzz Toy Fans, I'm D21Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today we're once again looking at those Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures released by Playmates. Before you, we've got the Mikey Turflidal figure. Now this version of Mikey was actually based on a couple of episodes of the recent Nicktoons animated series. The first episode being the mutation situation in which the Ninja Turtles had to lure a bat villain. And Mikey came up with the hilarious and seemingly one-off idea of dressing up as a fly to trap that villain. But, much to our surprise and joy, we once again got the hilarious Mikey Turflidal costume in the Lonely Mutation of Baxter Stockman. The first episode of the new Nicktoons cartoon that actually features the classic fly version of Baxter Stockman. Now when I saw that this version of Mikey was announced at Comic Con last year, I was pretty excited and I couldn't wait to get this guy in my hands. I've been searching store shelves for weeks and I finally found this figure at one of my local retailers. So let's get things started, buzz buzz, by taking a look at the packaging for this figure. As you come down the front of the box, you have that familiar Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo in the upper left. You've got a show render version of Michelangelo in the upper right. You then have a blister bubble packaging that does house this Mikey Turflidal figure inside as well as his accessories. Then at the bottom of the packaging, you do have the name for the figure, Mikey Turflidal Turtle Flying Bat Bait. Flipping this package around, as you come down the back of the box, you once again have that Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo in the upper left. You've got an image of Turflidal from the show with a bio off to the right. Go ahead and pause now to read that. Then towards the bottom of the packaging, you have a complete lineup of all the figures currently available in this wave. Alright, Buzz Buzz, let's get this Mikey figure out of the packaging and see what he's all about. Okay, toy fans, here we have Mikey Turflidal out of the box, and at a glance, this figure looks pretty nice. But under closer inspection, I don't know if he quite holds up to the quality we've seen with previous figures like the Battleshell Turtles. In fact, let's go ahead and bring in Battleshell Michelangelo for a side-by-side -side comparison. What you're going to see here is that these are largely the exact same sculpts between both these two turtles. Notable differences include that this Mikey actually has painted fingertips here, where this Mikey does not have the paint painted on his fingers. And it's pretty easy to see too here on the shoulders, where this Mikey figure has got sort of a softer, almost cheaper plastic. We got a little bit of uh, molding issues right here, which is kind of plastic sticking up. This right here with the peg in the shoulder looks pretty loose and pretty bad, I'm sorry to say. Comparing him to the Battleshell Mikey, who looks pretty clean in the shoulders overall. So I'm a little disappointed to see that sort of lack of quality on the shoulders of this figure. But he still moves around just fine without any issue. And then I also notice that this is the same belt sculpt for this Mikey figure. You're going to see here a gap as we come around the turtle where the hinge for the Battleshell figure used to be. If you look at this turtle on the side, you're going to see that the belt didn't go all the way to the shell to facilitate the hinge. They didn't change that belt sculpt at all on the turtle fly figure. They just kind of used the exact same pieces. Not terrible, but it would have been nice if we got a little more original sculpting of this figure. But if that's what they had to do to be able to give us a Turtle Fly Mikey to begin with, well, then I guess we'll go ahead and take what we can get. But overall, I'm a big fan of the way that the wings look on this figure. I like that they've used stickers instead of paint. I think it actually adds a lot more color to the figure than we otherwise would have gotten, and it was a great move on their part. And wherever paint apps are applied, they're actually pretty clean. Mikey Turflidal actually has a decent amount of accessories to come along with him. The first one we're going to take a look at here is this sort of soft plastic eyepiece for Mikey Turflidal. Goes on his head and actually completes the insect look. On the back of the headdress there is sort of a clip that's meant to go on the back of the bandana. And you just slide it on the figure, make sure it's over his eyes, it just kind of rests on there nicely. But it completes that bug-eyed Mikey Turflidal look. And then we see that he has these arms on the side. Now these arms are actually just attached to the back belt sculpt of the figure. Uh, they don't articulate or anything and they're not painted. I kind of wish they were painted a little bit, but... They actually look pretty nice sculpting wise. They've got the sort of ribbed looking, hose looking uh, arms coming down with the gloves. And I think when you add the wings onto the figure, it does complete the overall look pretty nicely. And then of course you do have this, these wings that are a separate piece. And I've already touched on the fact that I like the sticker applications. And I think that that was a great way to go with this figure. If Playmates can avoid uh, using paint apps and maybe using stickers in the future, as long as it comes out clean like it does in this Mikey figure, I'm not gonna mind. But then Mikey actually has these nunchucks that they didn't even have to include. These are the same nunchuck sculpts that we saw with the Battleshell Mikey and with the original release of Michelangelo. Same sculpt, same color plastic, everything, and they fit into his hands quite nicely. Now because this Michelangelo doesn't actually have any belt loops on the back of him because he has the arms and the, the wings there, Mikey's not going to be able to store these weapons at all, but he does hold them in his hands, and you can complete your Mikey Turflidal look with nunchucks in hand. Moving on to articulation, this Mikey Turflidal figure has exactly what we saw with the Battleshell version of the figure. He's got a ball jointed head that does rock all the way around and look down, let's get this out of the way, and look down only so much, and look back only so much, but it does rotate left and right nicely. 
He's got a shoulder here that rotates all the way up and around. It would rotate all the way around, but the wings get in the way, but those are removable. And then as a hinge, it allows his arm to bend up and out from the body that far. There's no bicep rotation, but he does have elbow rotation, so he can spin all the way around, as well as having a single jointed elbow that bends down that far and back that far, and a full wrist swivel as well. There we go. And that articulation is copied here on the other side. There's no finger articulation, just like we saw with the Battleshell series. Now, just like Battleshell, Mikey's got a soft shell here below the waist, so you can actually move his leg forward to give him kicking motions. His leg will bend back only about that far. The wings are not hindering that. His leg just won't go back that far. His leg will bend out from the body very nicely. And then it has rotation at the top of the leg, at the hip joint, as well as full rotation at the knee joint spinning all the way around. And then his leg will actually bend forward that far and bend back that far. There we go. So exactly what we saw with the Battleshell Turtles, and I'm glad that it's been maintained with Turf Flight old Mikey. Height-wise, we can see that Mikey Turf Flight old does stand right about four and a half inches tall. For some size comparison, here he is once again compared to the Battleshell Michelangelo figure, and compared to Battleshell Raphael, Battleshell Leonardo, and Battleshell Donatello. Here he is compared to one of the previous costumed Michelangelo figures we've received. We've got Mikey the Elf from the LARP series. And finally, here he is compared to the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite series Wolverine. Huh, there's no way I'm taking you seriously, bub, looking like that. I know, I know, Buzz Buzz, you just can't handle it. Uh. All right, toy fans. Well, that's my review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mikey Turflido figure released by Playmates in 2015. Overall, I find a lot to like about this figure. The arms are sculpted pretty nicely. Those wings look really great. And he's a pretty fun figure to pose around. True, he does have some shortcomings. He doesn't have as nice of paint applications as I would have liked. And I do think that plastic seems a little cheaper on the shoulders. But, he's a great figure to add to your collection, and it's certainly fun to see a Michelangelo variant based on some really fun episodes of the animated series. Well, thanks for watching this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Booyakasha!